the the very next placement I did um, after I did this second one this fabric is going over this number two fabric actually number three if you count number one here so I'm not going to trim out any of this I'm not going to trim out this I'm only going to trim out here because see, I still have batting here so I know something is going to go there so I'm going to just come up here and then over the rest of this is all going to stay Now it's brought us down this end. And I'm going to place this next fabric. This is a a cool fabric because it starts out this dark and then it goes lighter you can see and lighter and lighter Oops, sorry and lighter and lighter so here's one end I gotta lay them down here here's the dark end here's the light end so it comes in kind of handy for something like this if you want to um, get more color out of one piece of fabric I'm laying it down between the, the two lines. See, here's my two lines right here. I'm laying it down between the two lines. I'm making sure I've got plenty let's see, over on this side over here because this fabric is going over the very first one we pieced on. So I want to make sure I have plenty for my seam allowance um, that's going to be out here and on that right side. When you're done the whole block, you'll go around your outside edge. Uh, there'll be a stitching line, and you'll trim out a half inch from that stitching line. Of crease in this line right here this where the seam is and I'm pulling it towards this way These strips I'm using, some of them I cut to about, um, I think they're about two and a half. Because I, remember here, I need another, I want a whole, a full half inch. So I didn't want to go like to two, two and a quarter and, and then worry about it. I just went two and a half and that, I don't want to get all done and then be short. So the, the, the um, right side, I'm not going to trim out this at all. I'm not trimming here, so I'm just going to come in from, again, I come in from the angle, and because I know there's another fabric going right here, I'm going to trim back out of my way. And I'm going to continue around, and then I'll show you um, when we get near the end. Let me show you what happened to me, because this could happen to you. I wasn't paying attention, so when this came over to do this placement, I should have put a little piece of tape down. So this is now folded over, but all I have to do, I don't care about this part, it's going to be in the seam. All I got to do is, before I go on, I want to make sure I cut away 
anything that's going to be in my area and I can also cut a little bit of the stitching here it isn't going to matter so see I got my fold out of the way so I'll be a little smarter this time put a little piece of tape there okay and this is going to be my last piece my next to the last piece that I just did here you'll see I don't trim at all because I need this is my very outside edge here's my middle fab my uh, main center fabric here's my outside edge I didn't trim this at all I'll do that when I'm out of the hoop so I'll just get this last one done and show you the next part so if you follow along on your um, template sheet or the printout of your design you'll get past all the folded fabric folded fabric tacking all my sides you can see are all done I've got all this extra out here because this is the line I'm going to put my ruler on and trim out um, a half inch and I don't have any there's no uh, batting back here because I don't want to have when I seam these together my seam is going to be right along here I don't want to have all that batting in my seam so if you left your batting out there you want to trim it away and if it's not perfect it's fine it's underneath so I know that I'm on my embroid regular embroidery now I'm, I'm away from these edges plus I've looked at my list of I'm on number 24 of my thread changes and you'll notice I only changed thread one time so when you see something that says you know 24 thread changes it doesn't necessarily mean that okay so you can see I've finished my block I'm just gonna pop it out of the hoop maybe and now I'm going to trim it so I'm going to I have this uh, creative grids ruler and I really like them because first it has the um, non-skid on the back on the white side is an inch and on the dark the black side that line is a half inch so I'm going to use that line and I'm going to put that on my you see these lines going all around the outside I'm going to put my ruler on this and I want to trim to a half inch Sorry if I stuck my head in the way. I save some of these um, small pieces of stabilizer because there's a lot of times when you need two pieces of stabilizer because the stitching is heavy but you don't need to hoop two pieces of stabilizer you just need the second stabilizer under the part where that um, that design is so I will cut it down make smaller squares and, and put it in a I keep it in a Ziploc bag so that when I need to um, put a little bit underneath they just have to remember that this is a cutaway it's it's not going to tear away so there we go Whoop. there's our the honey pot all done so when you put these together let me work with the dark side here when you put these together you will put um, another block right sides together and when you stitch, let me see if I can get up close, you're going to stitch just inside of this line, which is this line right here, um, as your seam line. And then when you put it all together, because you already have batting, so some people will add more batting, I don't. I'm going to put my backing on, and then I'll just stitch in the ditch out where my seams are to hold my backing to my, the rest of my quilt.
So there you go. That's the honeypot uh, block.